uh, course objective you have to understand the section view and cutting plane line apply correct section line technique or practice recognize and draw section line for 10 different material draw section view given to view drawing demonstrate correct hidden line practice for section view identify seven types of sections apply section technique to clear uh, inter, uh, interpretable drawing demonstrate the proper technique for uh, sectioning grips whips and spoke use hatch when conventional break to show el uh, elongated object interpret drawing that inclined section that has inclined section view okay first of all why do we need section view? Simply to see the object from inside. As an example here, can you see here? This watermelon from outside, you cannot tell the shape of the object inside. You cannot tell if this watermelon is red or not yet uh, ready to be eaten. Okay, so similar to the object, this is the object from outside. I cannot see the internal details. See here, I have reduced diameter. This diameter is smaller than this diameter from here to here. Okay, so by adding section, by cut the part, then I can know or see exactly how the dimension, and, I, and also I can apply dimension to the part. You are going to see a rectangle, and if you want to show the internal details, you can represent them as hidden line. So what's the correct way to add section line? So the correct way to add section lines, by just simply first start with cutting plane line this one called cutting plane line okay i will change the color so you can see it okay this one called cutting plane line this line from here as you can see to here okay this called cutting plane line why it's called cutting plane line because it cut the part at specific point as an example here for this part i choose to cut the part from the center okay so this is the original location of the part this cutting plane line is represented as this line okay i will talk about the shape of cutting plane line in the coming slides okay so first step is we added cutting plane line okay so first step we added cutting plane line okay second step so okay first step add cutting plane line second step is to remove one part that you don't need okay third step now you are able to see the part from here and part from here okay then you will add section view but you have to remember that this part was hollow from inside it was a pocket and this part has been cut so for the part that has been cut i will add section view and the part that was empty i will not add anything okay this with hidden line as normal view left side view and this right side view has section view okay the right side view has section view a is front view and we have done cutting plane line B is the correct section of you. Okay, now I want you to look to C, D, E, and F. All of them are wrong uh, section view. Why they are wrong section view? We are going to introduce each error and each mistake. Okay, but I want you to compare each view with B. Okay, because B is the correct section view. Okay, so the first one, C. Visible edge contour behind the cutting plane should be shown. You don't have to erase the visible line. Okay, what about B? Section view are used primarily to replace hidden line. You have to remove hidden line from the back. You have to omit hidden line. What about E? Section line area always completely bounded by visible line. You have to change hidden line to visible line. The last one, section and section must be parallel at the same angle. If you notice, they are opposite direction, 145 and 135. Okay, section lines, the sample. Section line sample can be used to indicate the specific material. 
okay so in the first example we can show that we are using cast iron in the other sample so this is the cast iron this is the normal cutting plane line that are used by 45 degree and this is the standard this is represented cast iron but sometimes we need to cut in different type of material not all the time cast iron as an example you can cut in steel you can cut in plastic you can cut in wood so that's why you need to understand what is the pattern or what is the shape of each material section lines are usually at 45 degree you have to draw at 45 degree okay this is the section lines and the distance between 2 millimeter and almost 4 the average is 2.5 you don't have to make the space irregular like close far close far cl close like this it is wrong you are it's incorrect to make the lines are too much close less than two and a half millimeter or thin and thick section lines all the time are thin okay they are thin so it's not thick and you don't have to make them short or overrunning in this case this is short and this is overrunning okay what if part of the object like this one already has edge is at 45 degree then you have to adjust the section line from 30 to 60 degree okay you don't have to keep it at 45 degree okay we can add more than one section on the same drawing this is just simply for this one cutting plane line we can use thick line for cutting plane line and you can use each standard ANSI or ISO they are the same either equal dashes or uh, long dash as a fan the placement of section view should be behind the arrow okay the placement of section view should be behind the arrow the second one B is wrong because view should be on the left C is wrong because arrow should be flipped the arrow direction should be flipped type of section view we have full section view offset section view half section broken out section revolve section and remove section okay uh, we have a line section also in the book I will talk about it in our PowerPoint so uh, full section offset section half section are the most uh, generally we are using okay let's start with full section view full section view is view that made by passing uh, uh, the straight cutting plane line completely through the object so we are cutting the, the object from the beginning of the object until the end of the object I have 3d printed part I'm showing you here in the example so this is the part I'm cutting the part from the first until the end see from the beginning of the part until the end of the part okay I am imagining I'm using knife or cutting or sword or anything so this is the ruler I'm using I separate the part and then I have to look to the part from inside and I will show you the result when you're this part you have to remove it and then flip and look to the part from inside what you can see from inside is the section view similar to the example given down as you can see in the example we are using cutting plane line and then the part is in hidden line see this part now you can see it here so whatever you can see from this this is your eyes whatever you can see down you should represent it here so the first rule you have to change hidden line into visible line okay so hidden line has to be changed to visible line and you have to add cutting plane line okay for this part uh, this part was not included by the cutting plane line was not included by the cutting plane line in this case we have to keep this part not sectioned because the cutting plane line does not pass through it did not cut it the cutting plane line also as you can see the holes should not add uh, should not be sectioned we shouldn't add section lines to the holes okay after that we have offset section offset section view is used when we have part 
that the feature of the part they are not aligned on this in the straight line they are not on the same straight line so we have so this view made by passing behind cutting plane line completely bended uh, cutting plane line completely through the part so we have to bend our cutting plane line in my example in 3d printed part i will uh, start from one part i will go another part then i will go outside okay so after that i will show you when i finish from the part what will be the result you have to remove this one and you have to look to the part from inside so this is called offset uh, view so we are passing through the feature and our passing through the feature it has a rule you have to move in horizontal and vertical lines you cannot use uh, aligned or arc movement so you cannot use angle all the time you have to use vertical and horizontal okay so if you look to my 3d printed part I did the same I did also and if you look to the example we are doing the same okay we are using a line line see in the example in the green example see I want to show the slot the, f the big hole and the small hole okay so the slot the big hole and the small hole okay and the hidden line therefore there will be sh change to visible line in my 3d printed part the same I use the same technique so here now we remove one part and we look from inside when you look from inside what you are going to see you are going to see first feature second feature and third feature okay half section view half section view is simply take a quarter of the object imagine you are splitting the object into four pieces and take quarter of the object when you remove the quarter of the object and you project the object in the front of you you will see the object has two halves okay one of them is uh, you can see internal and one of them you can see external okay so you can see inside the part and you can see out of the part or outside of the part okay so by removing quarter as we said okay then when we have to do this if we have part that has symmetri symmetrical shape okay you don't have to make full section of you you might ask me a question uh, can I do full section of you in this case the answer is yes you can do full section of you but you might give in this task in the exam asking you to do half section see here in the example down below you look to the part and then you change section of you for half of the parts only you change section of you broken out section this view is made by passing the cutting plane line normal to viewing direction and removing portion of the object in front of it we are imagining that we are cutting an object and you have we have to use short break line in this case short break line I want you to focus in the example and in the 3d printed part that I created for you okay so in this case when you look to the part when you look to the part in my 3d printed you have two holes in the, the first one on the right side you can see it from outside you cannot see anything you have to keep it as it is in the second part to the left you have to show the internal part and then use cutting plane line short break line to remove it in the example down see they are showing you that when you cut or using the hammer to break the line to break the part now you have you can see sh portion like portion of the part small feature so in the example above you will see now how we are going to only show broken part on part small part of the object you might ask me a question can I use half section view here yes can I use full section view yes instead of this one but you might ask in the exam to use only broken out section so get ready now we have revolve section view okay so you will be given part like this and you are asked to make revolve section view Revolve section view simply is constructed just by taking part of the object from internal part of the object, take slice, and rotate this slice 90 degree and put it inside the object. Okay, so as you can see, we have down, let's say, uh, front view and top view. Okay, then we are going to take slice of the object and rotate it 90 degree. Okay. 
so this is cutting plane line when you cut the plane when you cut the part what you are going to see you are going to see something like look like um, eye shape like eye beam okay so you have to do it here or here okay in the top or in the front view and then you have to flip the direction 90 degree rotated 90 degree okay and then show the result uh, inside the object this is called revolve section view see you flip it 90 degree this line has been flipped 90 degree so step 3 draw the revolve section so here is the result once you revolve the part from inside which look like I shape you put it inside the object so this is called revolve section view so that's it For revolve section view, sometimes uh, we have part that consists of, as an example, ellipse and um, hexagon at the end of it. Okay, so we need to represent two sections in this time, first one and second one. Here in this example, we can show you that we can draw the ellipse or the circle inside the object, and also for the or you can use break uh, line. How we can use break line? When you draw this one hexagon into the front of you, you can remove the lines next to it attached to it see add break so the right and from the left it has break in this uh, superimposed it doesn't have break you can use either one of them it's okay now there's something called the removed section removed section is actually a revolve section okay it is a revolve section but in this case we take the part we don't keep it inside the object just we remove it outside that's it okay I will show you an example now how to demonstrate this one so in the left side of you is the revolve section in the right side of you is the removed section for the left side of you as you can see the cross section is inside the front of you and this part as we agree consists of two cross section circle and hexagon for the right side of you this is called the remove section what happen is I remove the circle outside the object and then I will do the same for the hexagon I will remove the hexagon outside the object that's why this called the removed section so basically they are the same see when I take the cross section I have to revolve it 90 degree and I have to keep it above or below the object so that's called a removed section As we can see here, the benefit of having remove section. If you use in this example revolve section, the shape will be inside the object and it will cause confusion. Okay, it will be confusing. But in this case, it's better to use revolve section. Okay, so you take out the part from inside and put it outside above the object. In this case, now you can see it and you are not affecting the appearance, the overall appearance of the object. What we if we have two cross section in the same part, then you need to add two remove or two revolve section, okay, as per the needed. So as an example, this part consists of two cross section, okay. So since you have two cross sections, you have the what's what's the aim of the views? The aim of the view is to add clarity to the drawing, to the one who can who has to read the drawing, okay. You have to give him the enough information. So in this case, we have to add two sections. The first section, it's section AA, and don't forget to label. All the time when you are doing section V, you have to label AA, BB, 
and under each section we have to call it section AA and section BB okay if you have CC you can add it section CC DD and so on okay so whips and section if we have rib or whip we cannot we don't have to make section view for them so uh, you can see the one is correct the one is incorrect this is a rib okay when you cut make slash you have to keep the rib empty without having a section view inside the rib okay and if you notice here we are adjusting the angle to 30 or 60 okay in order to avoid the 45 degree aligned section they are using if you have part that have aligned and then when you are making the section view you have to uh, to make the section view aligned correctly okay like this example on the right side view you can see true projection on the left side view you can see the conventional appearance the final the final part is the assembly drawing and sometimes we need to make section view in order to show other engineers that we have different part different component the bolt and screw and the pins we don't give them section view but the other component we are giving them section view and you have to notice that we flip the direction of the section lines between 45 degree and 135 in order to show other engineers that we have multiple parts not only a single part okay that's it thank you very much